Hey guys, so for this video we're going to uh, show you how to start a dubia colony. So what I have here is a uh, 66 quart Sterilite and this is not the locking lid style. This is a, it's almost like your 1600. What model is this? This is a 1758. So it's like the 57 but it seems to uh, be a whole lot more reasonable since it doesn't have the uh, locking tops. So, now mind you, I am not a uh, expert on this stuff at all. So I'm just going to throw down some stuff for them to hide in. I always save these uh, egg crate things just because they've worked so far for me. So I will just, you know, put them all over. Make sure they don't uh, stack together. Just put them like this all over that. I like to keep a, uh, a section empty over here because also something that I've been doing is growing out my carrots a little bit so that they grow uh, roots. The roots are really high in nutrients and the uh, dubia will love that. So I just throw those around in the bottom. The uh, the fresh growing stalks are also really good. So also what I have, I saw Marcy from MS2 at the Reading show. So what I got is some of her uh, gut load. I told everybody, you know, I'm a pro gut load guy, but I'll try anything once. And if it works, I'll just add it to my stuff. So, now that we've got this huge playpen set up over here, and a little hide, and you know, all kinds of stuff, they're going to eat at night. So they'll hide underneath this mass of, uh, of uh, egg crates. And then you just want to drop in your your little friends. And this is a uh, a group I'm growing out, so I can breed my own. Because I do have uh, you know like the the picta love these guys. My hatchlings love them. The the fascios love them. The uh, Just, I'm having a whole lot more luck this year than in uh, previous previous years. So, my main reason for testing out this uh, this model is oh come on little buddy, there you go. Uh, I'm testing out this model because it's got a m slippier sides, I guess you would call it. The uh, 1700 series with the locking normally does not have as slippy sides and the 1600 series 6 quarts that I've been keeping the the leftovers when I make an order they've got more of a tapered side and then a little ledge so I know it's almost impossible to keep them contained, but I, a, a, as minimal as I can get is good for me. So how I've been having them is just uh, the 18 egg thing, I'll put it like that, give them a little food dish and some carrots, and they've been doing great. I'll put them on a lower shelf in the rack so that they get a, a lower heat but enough heat that they'll be growing. So as you can see they're all gone hiding. 
there's one right up in uh, right there but yeah I just thought I'd show you guys uh, how I'm going to be keeping them and I will let you know if I have the same amount of uh, dubia tomorrow or in a week and uh, maybe even a couple of months I'll just leave these few in this one I know how many's in here now I can watch the video and count them if there's any missing I'll figure something else out maybe I'll get that uh, Vaseline or something to put around the, the edge or, or that uh, tape that slippery tape I know packing tape works good too so yeah just something for you all to uh, check out and let me know what you think any ideas suggestions uh, don't forget facebook.com slash thorgecko.org and uh, I hope you guys enjoy hopefully uh, pretty soon I'll be breeding these guys mass quantity so I can actually sell some instead of uh, you know spending hundreds of dollars a month on uh, feeders you know I don't just feed these I feed superworms and mealworms as well but you know with the Picta really liking these that's gonna be a thing from now on so uh, yeah and these guys are really cool because they're tropical so if they get out in your house they're not gonna survive they won't multiply because they need hot temps you know unless you live in a really hot area you know where it's 90 degrees in your house but my house is far from that it's you know you're lucky if you get it over 65 just because the area I live so yeah, hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you all later. Thanks for watching the video of the day.